Andrea van Weber is transforming the ashes of a Rottweiler into a bracelet for the dead dog's bereaved owner. She's a pioneer in this booming line of business. When you lose your pet, you can feel a, it's a big loss. A lot of people, they want just a little piece of the pet left. So when you get a ash jewelry, you can wear the jewelry very close to you. So you have your, your pet close to you. Social worker Lisa Labria is one of Andrea's loyal customers. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Andrea. Hi. She asked Andrea to create the ideal memorial for her holy beerman cat, Nelly, when she passed away at the age of 17. It was a terrible loss, but being able to get a necklace like this was a fantastic comfort. Lisa wanted to take what she regarded as the next logical step when her father died, by turning his remains into a piece of jewellery as well. But she was forced to scatter his ashes in a conventional way. Even though he was my adoptive father, we had a very special relationship. If I had had the opportunity to get a piece of jewellery with him, I would have loved it. Under Danish law, turning human remains into jewellery is prohibited. The ecclesiastical affairs minister says that he will not change the legislation. We asked him for an interview, but he declined. He did, however, issue a statement saying that death and the deceased have to be respected. But Andrea believes that Denmark should change with the times and be more accommodating towards the wishes of the bereaved. People, when they call me, they are very sad and they're, and they're grieving. Um, and once I had a, a young couple who had lost a small child and they wanted an ash jewelry, they, they really felt that was the right thing for them. But then I couldn't make it, and that was, no, that was really a very uh, sad thing. I think the times are changing too, that people, they don't go to the grave and memorize their loved ones. The church believes the jeweler is spiritually misguided. When we bury our beloved ones that we don't have among us anymore, we have to say goodbye. It's, it's important that the, that the burial is uh, a, 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 the last farewell so that you can continue your life with all the memories and all the good things that you got from this person. So the concept of human jewellery would appear to be dead.